Moving on. Polytechnic workers at the Moshud Abiola Polytechnic Abiyakute on Wednesday embarked on a protest over unpaid wages. Correspondent John Felix, who monitored the demonstration, report the workers seek the urgent intervention of the state governor, Dagwal Habiodo. Now, this is the report. It's the second working day of the year 2023, and already members of the senior staff are here of Nigerian Polytechnic, as well as the non academic staff union of the Moshu Dabiola Polytechnic, are protesting over three months on paid salaries. <laughs> That was not a crusade ground, but polytechnic workers expressing their displeasure over what they describe as maltreatment from their employers. Protesting over unpaid wages, the leadership of Sanip and Nasu say they can't continue the year on happy. The reason why we are here this morning is to demand for our cries, for our entitlements. The management of Machu Valley Tank is owe us three months salary arrears. Starting from November, starting from October, November, and December. That's one. Number two, all other institutions and all other ministries have been collecting the minimum wage. Nor should Abiola Polytechnic has not even collect a minimum wage. And we hear that another one is still coming. When we have not received the one that is on grant, how, do we go, how are we going to collect the one that is coming? Presently, the management of Moshe Valley Technic owes us 55 months pension arrears. As we are here, nobody has a pension and future here. If anybody retire tomorrow, there is no pension or future for that person. Like never before, these protesting workers seek urgent intervention to their demands. Number one, they should take the account of Mapoli and start paying us 100% as was being done in all other states. Example, Oyo State. Oyo State is having not more than higher institutions, and they pay all their monies before 25th of every month, 100%. We are employing our government, our good governor, Governor Dapo, Abiodun MFR, to please come to the aid of my police staffs. Collect our accounts and pay us 100%. We are suffering. Throughout the attitude, none of us can celebrate. We are at home, not doing anything. In fact, we are hoy. We want the state government to come to our aid. And for those people that they are making a lot of things to, to, to say a bad thing about us, we are not about the government to... We are not working against the government. The government should come and take over the polytechnic and run it as a state-owned institution. This isn't a private polytechnic. This is a state-owned institution. The government should come up and take over the account of the polytechnic and run it properly. We are expecting for the governor to talk to us. We have made a server, a, a lot of appointments to talk to him, but there is no avenue. But we are still uh, expecting invitation from the governor so that we can have a dialogue with him. They are hoping that their demands will be met as soon as possible so that they can return back to their classes and life can become easy for them. From Abel Kuta, the State Capital, John Felix reporting for Gazi Television News.